Hey there everybody, welcome back to the 4 String Strummer, the channel It's all about ukuleles. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about accent strumming. And we're going to do it to the grand old tune called Hey Good Looking by Hank Williams. I'm going to be using the banjo ukulele today, but you of course can play it on whatever ukulele you've got. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so we did a version of this song a couple of weeks ago on my Ohana ukulele right there. And I thought I'd do a tutorial on this one because it's a great song you can do a lot of different kinds of strumming in this so today what we're going to do is we're really going to focus on how to vary up the different strums that you're using in one song where to use them and why first thing i'm going to do though is i'm going to show you the chords to this song then we're going to go through two different versions of how you can play this with different kinds of strumming so we're going to have a beginner version so if you're living on the first or second floor of our ukulele condominium community here you're going to be covered second uh, version is going to be for more advanced people maybe on the third or fourth floor of the condo and then at the end we're all going to get together in the party room and we're going to be able to play this song all together all right so let's start off with the chords okay so the chords for this one just start off like this it goes hey good looking let's see what you got cooking and then we go up to a D7 and just use the two finger version here. How's about cooking G7 up with C? You do that twice. Hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you and I could find a G7 recipe back to C? Okay. And then for the B part of the song, it goes, I got a hot rod food. That's an F. Hot rod food back to C. Two dollar bill F. I know the spot right, see, over the hill, back to F. The soda pop, see, and the dancing's free. D7 again, they want to have fun, come up to G7 with me, back to C. And that's the whole song. All right, let's get into the strumming part. All right, so for the strumming, we're going to start off with level one here. If you're just getting started off with strumming, let's start with our paintbrush strum. Those of you that have been around for a while, you know this strum. It's just basically you hit it with your thumb and you brush it with your fingers, just like that. Hit it with your thumb, brush it with your fingers. Paint, brush, paint, brush, paint, brush. Now you could play this whole song with just this one strum. And if you're at a beginner level, play it all the way through like this, okay? This is a good way to get started, get your coordination going. Just like that. Hey, hey, good looking. What? What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Okay, you can play the whole thing. Now, if you want to jazz it up a little bit, this is where we start to step into this accent strumming thing I'm talking about. Because, you know, playing with one strum, obviously, if you're a beginner, great. But, you know, as you move along, you want to be able to vary that up to give your music a little bit more variety, a little bit more rhythm. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about our sledgehammer strum. So sledgehammer is very much like paintbrush. Again, you folks been around, you heard about this. You go, you hit it with your thumb, you brush it down with your fingers, then you come back up with your thumb. So it's sledgehammer, sledgehammer. Okay, just like that. Now, we're gonna start off with sledgehammer. Then when we go to our D7 and our G7, we're gonna switch to paintbrush. When we go back to C, we're going to go back to our sledgehammer strum, okay? One way to think about it, if you're trying to decide on which strum to do where, a little bit of a rule of thumb, not hard and fast, but if there's not much going on up here at the left hand, have a little bit more going on down here with the right hand, and vice versa. If there's not much going on on this end, you can have a little bit more going on on this end. So if there's a lot of chord changes, you can keep your strum... A little bit more simple if there's not much you want to keep the listeners attention so you do a little bit more fancy stuff with this hand okay so let's start off with our sledgehammer strum here we go hey good looking play along what you got cooking switch to paintbrush now how's about cooking something up with sledgehammer again now he sweet baby don't you think maybe get ready for paintbrush you and I could find a brand new wrestle slap cherry 
Okay, now you can hold that sledgehammer all the way through the next part where we do F to C, F to C three times. Okay, I'm gonna, where, God, blah, blah, blah. there's a, I got a hot rod floating the two dollar bill, and I know a spot right over the hill. The soda pop and the dancing's free. Now we'll go to our paintbrush again. If you want to have fun, come along with me. Hey, back to Sledgehammer. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Back to Paintbrush. How's about cooking something up with Sledgehammer? Me. All right, so that's one way that you can vary it up, and it gives those different accents in different spots. Okay, so again, if that's sort of where you're living on the first and second floor of our ukulele condominium here, that's a great way to start off. Now, if you think maybe you're living on the second floor, starting to think about moving up to the third floor, let's do three strums. And this isn't a, a real tough one. Um, but again, it just helps you to get your brain ahead of your hands. Uh, the way I think about this is that my mind needs to be this far in front of what my hands are doing okay so you always got to be thinking where am I going next what am I doing next what's the next part that's coming up when you're first learning the song after a while it'll just all be automatic but you want to kind of keep that little bit of distance while you're while you're figuring it out okay so we're gonna do our sledgehammer cooking what you got cooking and then we're gonna go to our Paintbrush, how's about a cooking? Now we're going to go to a, what I'm going to call a single strum, and it's just down, 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 down. Something up with, back to our sledgehammer. Me. Okay, here's what it sounds like. Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Say, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you and I could find a brand new recipe? Okay, so again, you don't have to do it this way all the way through the song, but what this is is more like an exercise to start you really down that road to more strums all within one song. And that's the beautiful thing about this song. It really gives you a lot of opportunity to mix it up. All right, so now what we're going to do, if you're, again, beginner stage, stick with that for now. If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, maybe you're a little bit more advanced, you're living on the third or fourth floor of our condo here, let's get into the next level of strumming. Okay, let's take a look at the more advanced version of the strumming. So if you're living on a third or fourth floor of our condo, here's what you want to do. We're going to start off with our C chord, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of hammer on that C chord to get that hey, hey sound. Like that. Hey, hey. Okay. And then we're going to hammer on our first finger at the second fret on the fourth string. And we're going to lift up our third finger. Like this. So all we're doing is basically getting that top string, bottom string. So we go down on the top string and we go down on the bottom string, on the first string here. Down, up, down, up. So the first down is the only one that you hit the top string on. Down, up, down, up. Okay? All right. Let's try it again from the beginning. Same again. Now we go up to our D7. And all we're doing here is the double strum. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
How about cooking? Go to G7. Same thing. Double strum. All right, so that's the first part. So for the second part, where we go into the next uh, verse, um, you go up to your F chord. Now we just continue on with the double strum. So again, the double strum is just down, up, 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 down, up. And you just play that strum pretty much for this whole part. So it just goes F. And I know a spot that over the hill. Being a dancing spree. If you want to have fun, come along with me. Alright, so if you want to fancy it up even a little bit more, you can throw a circle strum in here. Let me just show you this part. Hear it? That part's the circle strum. And all I'm doing here, I'll put a link to circle strum, but basically what circle strum is, I'm just circling around with my finger and it gives it that sort of staccato kind of a sound bup, 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 rup, like that you can see um it kind of picks each individual string as you go along you're basically just kind of slowing it down bup, 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 bup. you're hitting each individual string and it gives you that little bit of a rhythmic kind of a strum okay so go up to our D7 and do our double strum. Now you go to your G7, you can do, use that circle strum technique again here. Just kind of lift your third finger, drop it, up to C. So it's a double strum, how's it about a cooking? You do one, two, three in kind of a circle sort of a strum. Lift your finger, drop it down, slide it back up to the C. All right, let's do that part again. You can see how now it starts to build, right? It gives you all these cool little sounds together. All right, so now we're going to go up and we're going to go to the F and I'm going to show you a couple of other little tricks you can do. So when you go to the F here, what you can do is you can do your double strum here if you want. I'll just show you this one and then I'll show you this other one. And I'm just going to call this a skip strum because we're kind of skipping a beat. You'll hear what I mean. So it goes like this. We'll just do double strum first. So you can pop it up, it up, it up, it all sounds the same. But if you go like this, you can hear how it kind of bump, 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 kind of skips a little beat. And you can do that coming up. You can do that going down if you want to. Listen to it through the rhythm. 
and you'll hear the strum rather than see the strum or have it explained. So just listen now. Now listen to it in double strum. And I'm putting my second finger down here. And my third finger goes down on the F at the third fret on the first string. I hammer it on, take it off. And I drop my second finger at the third fret. Lift it. Drop your second finger and your third finger. Lift your second finger. And then I go back to my double strum when I go to the D7. Do my circles and I Drop my finger down, okay? Lift it, drop it. Again. All right, so there's lots there to play with, folks. Take whatever strums you like out of that, depending on where you are in your ukulele journey, and just start placing them wherever you like them, wherever you think it sounds good. And it'll really amp up your, your, your sound, the variety, the rhythm. Uh, it, it puts the listener's ear a little bit on edge. What's coming next kind of a thing, okay? So next we're going to play the song all the way through. So try different combinations of all these different strums and see what you like. All right, let's try it out. Here we go. got cooking. How's about cooking something up with me? Well, please, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you and I could find a brand new recipe? I got a hot rod for two dollar bill and I know a spot right over the hill. That's soda pop ain't the dance is free. Come on, have fun, come along with me. Hey, hey, How's about cooking something up with me? Well, I'm free and ready. We can go steady. How's about saving all your time for me? No more looking. I know I've been tucking. How's about keeping steady company? I'm gonna throw my day book over the fence and buy me one to buy the ten cents. I'll keep it till it's covered with age. I'm writing your name on every page. Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? <laughs> Okay, so lots of good tips and techniques today and a great song to go along with it. Be sure to check out our new Facebook group called Four String Strummers where we do nothing but chit-chat about ukuleles day in, day out. The link's down in the description there. Till we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Maybe with one of these videos right over here. Bye for now.